Okay, welcome race fans here to the Dogs of Endurance at Lime Rock today for a lot of laps here. They're going to be running, I believe it was 183, if I remember correctly. Let me look here. Yeah, 183 laps. Not a whole big field out here yet, but uh, we'll be probably before uh, we do take the green flag. So I hope everybody's ready for Christmas and ready to uh, get on with the holidays, because uh, I am, I know, I'm ready for it to be over <laughs> already. <laughs> Okay, let's watch them practice here, or qualify, excuse me, they are under qualifying. 30 minutes of qualifying here just before the green flag, so uh, let's watch them qualify here a minute. i got something i got to take care of real quick, and I will be right back. Hey, dog. Dog, are you there? Hey, I just wanted to let you know if for some reason, uh, I don't know, I think you're the only one that I can actually relieve, is, aren't, aren't I? Rudy? Yeah. We're in different teams. Oh, you're not in the dog of iRacing team? No, I come in in, t in TDORL VIP all the time. You register in the www.dogsaracing.com so that if anybody misses green flag, they can jump in. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I was just going to say if somebody wanted to take a break or something, but if there's nobody on my team, I guess I don't have to worry about it. But I thought maybe I'd go out and turn a few laps with you guys. Everybody seemed to really enjoy that last week. Yeah, there's no issue about that. Just make sure to load the proper setup. Um, actually, I'm going to come in here and share the setup that I'm using that way. It's available and then load. if you load that setup on the Cadillac right away, then it's the proper setup instead of the default. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe... I, I kind of like Lime Rock. It's a pretty cool track. I, everybody really enjoyed that last week. I did too. I had a good time. That was fun.
Okay, I shared the Cadillac setup. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, if I don't qualify, I can still go out and run, though, can I? Yep. I don't have to start the race or nothing. You know, there's somebody in this, you're in the session for Green Plague, so they're still registered. Okay. Well, let's go out and see what this puppy will do. How's that? First lap is really sketchy on the cold tires, but then it warms up. I see that. Oh, well, you're running me off the track. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to turn a qualifying lap here. I can see this. I don't think I'm going to like this. I thought I liked this car on this track, but I guess not.
Boy, that thing takes a heck of a jump over that, that hill. Wow. Watch this jump it takes over this hill. It just lifts right off the ground. Wow, unreal. I don't know if I'll be out there racing today. <laughs> I guess not. It was worth the try. I'm not very good at road courses anyhow, so... I thought I'd give it a whirl. Layla the Fox is out there. Lewis Van Gee. Man, we got some pretty good ones out there. Layla driving the Gen 6. Ooh. I was having trouble with the Cadillac and she's driving the Gen 6. Man. On you. Layla having a little difficulty there with the Gen 6. Lewis Van going to try it in the Gen 6 too, so let's see what he can do. About a little less than three and a half minutes here qualifying, folks, and we're going to get after it. Gen 6s right there together. It was Van and uh, Layla right there together. Drag race down the front stretch. And going into turn one, looks like Layla's got the inside line here. Let's see who's going to come out of this. Oh boy. The Lewis Van just drifting it through the corners here. Wow. Oh, and he gets into the side of Layla. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mark is thinking, man, what are these kids doing here? <laughs> across the grass cutting the course <laughs> oh she looks like she's having fun anyhow
Oh, whoopsie. Out in the grass. Dog with a little damage on that car already. Hmm. Must have been off in the tulips. Well, I hope everybody's doing all right this Sunday morning and ready for uh, a good show here of the Dogs of Endurance. Looks like we're coming down to the closing seconds here. Boy, dog blinking like a son of a gun there. I'm not quite sure. I think that was dog. Hope it wasn't me. Okay, so uh, qualifying over. Darren Kuhn out there in the BMW. That looks like the car to have out there today. That one or the HPD. We'll get down there in just a minute here and check out everybody on the grid. So stay with us, folks. It's going to get fun, getting it interesting. Might have to turn up that volume just a little. It don't seem to be very loud. Alright, so well, let's run down through the qualifying order here. Uh, ooh. Let's see, Grip TV, that would be... Michael, and there I guess... Marcus in second, Holger in third, Gee in fourth, Michael in uh, fifth, Sean in sixth, Francisco seventh, Dog in eighth, Louis Van in uh, ninth, Layla the Fox in tenth. Of course, I'm not racing, but I did turn on qualifying lap. Whoops. Darren Kuhn did not uh, did not get a lap in. And uh, taking up the rear of the field here is Kyle Strychars. Worldwide racing. All right. So, Grip TV. Hmm. Grip TV. We're ready to get this thing off and going, folks. Alright, one lap around here, we're going green.
Kyle Strychart's coming off a win last week at Daytona. Hoping to try to get it into victory lane here again today. It was the overall winner and the winner of his class. So, uh, big congratulations to him for last week's race at Daytona. Well, let's see what he can do at Lime Rock this week here to maybe bring in uh, another victory here tonight. Uh, not sure exactly what he's. Okay. I guess he's in there, but he's not racing or something. Okay. Off and going. Get everybody uh, caught up here. Michael Rasmussen out in front in the HPD. Already pulling away by 1.3 seconds over Holger. I would say there's an outside chance of uh, Michael having uh, a pretty good hookup at this track. Man, he just continues to pull away. He's out there 2.4 seconds. Man, he is just dominating. 2.7 seconds on the first lap, folks. Wow. At that rate, it won't be about 30 laps. He'll have the whole field lapped. He knows how to get around this joint. I don't even see him in team speak. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe we won't get a chance to talk to him. I'm not sure. All right, 4.6 seconds over Holger. Marcus in third. Gee in fourth. These guys all in the HPD up in the front here. Kyle Strychars in fifth overall. Fifth in his class in the HPD started at the back of the field and has already worked up to a pretty good position here. A little bit of momentum coming off of last week's win. Michael Hiller in the BMW, top of his class right now in sixth place overall. Sean in the Cadillac. Sean Vandy Camp. Top of his class. Lewis back here in the Gen 6. Top of his class right now. Darren Kuhn in the BMW trying to work his way up through the field. Second in his class in the BMW. Running ninth overall. And he's got HPD uh, the leader already coming up on these guys. Look at this folks. Already lapping. Man. Only seven cars left on the lead lap already, and he's only been out there for four laps. Wow. Tell me he ain't hooked up. Anyhow, dog in ninth place overall in the Cadillac today. Uh, and he is, I believe, second in his class. Lewis Van in the Gen 6. The Ford Fusion Gen 6 to be exact. Francisco, the only one out there in the the V8 Holden. Holden V8, whatever you want to call it. Only one in his class. Layla Wilson taking up the rear of the field right now in the Ford Fusion Gen 6. Does get a great run going down the front stretch, though, and passes up Francisco. Those uh, Gen 6s are pretty fast on the straight stretches, so uh, look for them to dominate on the straight stretches. But uh, we probably see some of these other cars pretty fast in the turns. 
I think probably the Holden V8 might outdrive them in the turns, but it's getting back by these guys that could be the problem right now. He can hang with them on the short stretches, but uh, not on the long front stretch. Those Gen 6s just pull away big time. He's not doing too bad hanging on there. Actually doing pretty good. All right, uh, Michael up here nine, ten seconds, excuse me, ahead of Holger. And then Gee back another 6.8 seconds. Oh, Gee, something wrong with Gee's car. That lets a few of them go by. Kyle Strike Charge gets by and Marcus gets by. Strike Charge is really doing a good job out there. He's come from back, clear back to the last car on the grid and is already up to the third place, running 17.8, 17.9 seconds behind our leader. Running third in his class right now, folks. That was last week's winner at Daytona. Hey, Rudy? Yeah. Ben Walton just jumped into the Dogs of Racing car. Okay. I tried it out there. I wasn't too good at it, so... <laughs> I was off the track more than I was on it. Okay, so Ben Walton uh, coming out. Yeah, it's kind of a tricky track and car combination this week. Well, I guess if I had had a little more practice on it, I probably would have been better. But I, it's been a while since I've been on Lime Rock, and it's a little tricky to me. That and the Cadillac isn't the most forgiving of vehicles either. Okay, Ben Walton in the Max B T V car. Oh good, did you block did you block all them <laughs> farm bull <bowl> invites? <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is block them. Hey, you know. It's a pretty simple thing. Alright. Michael out front by 15.4 seconds. Only five cars remain on the lead lap right now. Gee, last one on the lead lap. He's running 26 seconds behind the leader. Okay, yep, yep, blame me and Cheetos. Mark is not that far ahead of Gee. Running in uh, fourth overall, spins it out on the track, right in front of uh, a few other drivers. Wow, that was pretty intense. Maintains, keeps it going. He gets by him now. Marcus goes back to fifth overall and fifth in his class. What's Cheetos up today? Up to today, there, Street Boss? You heard from him? Probably sleeping in. He probably did some racing.
right along with Michael up here, our leader. Watch him turn the lap here. Boy, he is wicked fast. Comes up on some more lap traffic. Figuring a way to get around them. Does a good job of it. Comes up on Dog going into turn one. Passes Dog with ease. That puts a Dog actually three laps down now. So in 15 laps he has put Dog down three laps. Man oh man. Oh, he's driving in the snow. Well, that can that can wear you out. I know I lived in that pretty much all my whole life up north until I moved down here 13 years ago. I wouldn't care if I never seen another snowflake as long as I lived. It wouldn't bother me a bit. Everybody says they want snow on Christmas. Bah humbug. I don't want no snow. I don't mind Christmas. I just don't want no snow. Alright, Rasmussen out here in the front. Been out here the whole race. He has led the last 15 laps. Coming to 16 here. Boy, he's got a bunch of lap traffic to deal with now. He's caught up to the Gen 6s and the Holden V8. Now he's got to figure a way to get by them. Looks like he passes all of them pretty cleanly. Good job. Good piece of driving there. Uh, Holger in second back here 17.7 seconds Kyle Strachar's in third 28 seconds behind the leader Guy in fourth 31 seconds back Marcus 41 seconds back in fifth Michael Hillard in the BMW out here, top of his class right now. I think a second one in his class is Darren Kuhn, and uh, Darren back a quite, actually a whole nother lap behind Michael right now. But in between them, Sean Van Camp, and he is in the Cadillac. Doing quite a good job in the Cadillac. Darren Kuhn in 8th overall, Dog in ninth in the Cadillac 2nd in his class. And then we get to the Gen 6 class here of uh, Lewis Van and Layla Wilson running 10th and 11th overall. 
and uh, Francisco in 12th in the Holden V8. Quite a ways back, uh, several laps down, about 10 laps down, is uh, the Max BTV car driven by uh, Bill Walton, but Bill Walton, Ben Ben Walton. I'm sorry, I should know that. <laughs> Yeah, Ben Walton. Sorry. Sorry, Ben. Got to get used to a few of the new names, so. But he's doing a good job. A whole lot better than I was doing in that doggone thing. All right, Holger now 21 seconds behind the leader in second. Kyle Stretchar, third place, running 37 seconds behind the leader, last one on the lead lap in third place. Okay, ready? Yes, sir. He has a too much damage, he's done. Okay. He having too much damage on his car. Let's see if we can find a better view of this car. Oh, ouch. Did not get to see what happened to Gee's car, but man, that thing is tore up from the floor up, folks. Ouch. Alright. Too bad. Holger in second. Kyle Strychars third. Marcus in fourth. Guy on pit road. Sean, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, Michael Hillard gets by him now in the BMW. And he rolls into fifth. Next one, uh, Sean, Sean Vandekamp cruising on by. Now Darren Kewen cruising on by. So Guy dropping like a fly here, folks. Dog, next one to go by. I think he's got a, another lap and he'll go by. We'll have a few of them on the next lap to buy. Uh, Layla Wilson does get by Lewis Van. She goes into 10th overall, but top of the class in the Ford Fusion V8 uh, Gen 6 car. Van Ray behind her in 11th and Francisco in the Holden V8 running 12th and Ben Walton in the Max PTV car Cadillac running 13th on the field today but third in his class. Strychar's third place overall and third in his class. Last one on the lead lap, and he's got, I believe, that is the leader right behind him. Yes. So the leader about to put Strychar's a lap down here in just a second. 
Oh, off the track he goes and the leader goes on by. Not a good thing to get off the track, man. He gathers it back up and continues on, but he goes one lap down to the leader, but still maintains uh, third place overall. So that leaves two cars on the lead lap, folks. Michael Rasmussen in uh, the top spot and Holger in second, 23 seconds back. Hillard in the BMW, uh, running fifth overall, top of his class in the BMW. Sean Vandekamp in the Cadillac, running sixth overall now, top of his class. Darren Kuhn second in the BMW, seventh overall. And Dog in the Cadillac. And he is uh, second in his class now. Yeah, I think uh, Sean and him are the only, well, them two in the, in the, in the Cadillac class. Then uh, Lewis Van gets back by Layla to take the top spot in that class. As Layla goes back to second in the class, 10th overall. Francisco right behind them in the Holden V8. And Guy, of course, is out. And the Max B TV car, driven by Ben Walton, the team car. And he's doing a great job out there. Keep it up, Ben. You're doing a killer job, man. A heck of a lot better than I do. Yeah, I see that, Gee. Man, bummer. I hate it for you, brother. Should have took your time a little bit more and not pushed it quite so hard. Layla in 10th uh, overall here, second in her class in the Gen 6. And she's got a little bit of damage on that right rear. Still hanging on to the back of Lewis Van there. Those three have been pretty much nose to tail since the drop of the green flag. Francisco hanging right on to every move they make. Squirrely after catching the the apron right there just a little bit. Cut the apex going into that turn and upset that Gen 6 car pretty bad. She gathers it up though and keeps going.
That sounds like a bummer, Guy. Well, you tried, brother. You tried to communicate. <laughs> it happens. Okay, let's get back up to Darren Kuhn here, running in seventh overall and second in his class. And he is about a lap uh, back further than Michael Hillard in that class in the BMW. Mark is still in fourth in the HPD and he's got the leader right behind him. The leader making a pass and gonna have to pass up a bunch of them here. Man, look at that. He just outdrives them all. Again, only him and Holger on the lead lap. Holger uh, actually 38.7 seconds behind Michael right now, which really isn't that far ahead of him. Michael probably, yeah, he's just coming down the front stretch now. And uh, Holger just uh, going through the the back part right here. Wow. Not that far ahead of Michael. I don't know if we can ride along with him and see if we can get a, a, a view of uh, Holger up ahead of him or not. Holger's really not that far ahead of him. No, not yet. Oh, there he is. Holger just going into turn one right now. You'll be able to see him here in a minute going through the S's. There he is, just up ahead of our leader. Oh, we've got a caution. A caution on the track. Whoa, how did that happen? How did we get a caution? Not sure exactly what happened there, folks. I'm showing Michael Hillard here, but uh, how did we get a full course caution? We have a caution on the track, dog? Yeah, there was too much damage going on around there, and we had more than two people request a caution. Okay. I was just checking because I couldn't find it. I couldn't find anybody with any damage or anything. So, well, there was one car that was smoking up the entire track for a little bit. So, I think that's what caused it. Yeah. Uh. I think it was Sean Vandekamp, but it looks like he just come on pit road and might have blown his motor. Well, this could be good news for uh, could be good news for a few of these guys that will be able to Kyle Strychars will be able to get his lap back. He will be the lucky dog. Man, this is kind of unusual to have a, a caution on a road course like this, but uh, some people... Yeah, will... that's one of our lead policies here, Rudy, is if more than two people request a caution, a caution gets thrown. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool.
Alright, looks like we've got quite a few of them on pit road uh, taking advantage of uh, of uh, possibly changing tires and fueling up. A few of them on pit road. Michael Rasmussen, our leader, still has not been on pit road. Okay, looks like uh, lights off on the pace car and we're going green this time, folks. Something you don't normally see here on the road course, but this is a league policy that if a couple of drivers say that they would like to have a caution thrown, and a couple of them did speak up and say something dogs telling me, and uh, so they a manual caution was thrown, and... Uh, Good news for a few of the drivers, too, you know, that some of the drivers wanting to uh, get caught back up to the leader, so to speak. Holger now right there on uh, our leader's tail. Pace cars on pit road, and Michael ready to hit the throttle, and he does. Green is out, back underway here at Lime Rock, folks. Holger going to see maybe if he can't stick with uh, our leader a little bit longer this time, maybe. He was still on the lead lap, so that's a good thing. These cars are just so quiet, folks. I don't want to turn it up too loud because uh, the louder cars are going to be extremely loud. If you go back here, like on Lewis' uh, van... These Gen 6s are pretty loud. And if I turned up the loudness for all the other cars, these Gen 6s would blow your eardrums apart. Alright, Holger now 4.3 seconds, 5 seconds behind the leader. Boy, the leader... Man, how is he pulling away by that much? What? He's pulling away about 80 million seconds a, a turn. How the heck is that working? <laughs> wow. He just pulled away by like six seconds there just in, a, in two turns. I don't know how that happened, but... Might have been uh, Holger May was just, just wasn't hooked up right or something there. I don't know. I don't understand that, but man, that was kind of weird. Kyle Strychars in third. Couple laps down to the leader. Marcus in fourth. And 
Michael Hillard, fifth in the BMW, top of his class. Darren Kuhn, uh, sixth, second in his class in the BMW. Dog in the Cadillac, seventh, top of his class in the Cadillac. That's good news for a dog. Uh, looks like Sean Vandy Camp out of the race. It looks, I think he blew his motor, so uh, he was the only other Cadillac contender out there. No. No, the Max B TV cars. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Forgot about my team car. <laughs> Ben Walton driving the Max Speed TV car back here in uh, 12th place. And a few more laps here, and he'll be able to pass up Sean Vandykamp. So he'll be in second. Second in that, that class behind Dog. And there he does. He does take it up, take up the second place. All right, Francisco still trying to hang on to these uh, Gen 6s and doing a good job of it, too. I think the HPD there of Marcus does get by all of them. Them guys, he's running fourth in his class in the HPD. Kyle Strychar's third as he's coming up on those guys. And ladies, Layla the Fox in there. She's uh, actually running, let's see, what's she running? Something right here. How could she be? She's behind. Oh, I think I know why. I, I, I guess it helps to be live, huh? <laughs> well, after I was looking for that wreck, it kind of backs it up just a few seconds. So, But she does get by uh, Lewis Van and goes into eight. Lewis Van right behind her and Francisco right behind them. So, Holger now 22 seconds behind the leader. Those two are the only ones on the lead lap. I believe Holger's race was cut short last week and uh, didn't get to finish the race, and he was running really well, too. like here I didn't really have much of a chance to check it out but ah looks pretty good actually yeah blimp view looks good all right Strychar is not far ahead of uh, Holger there but uh, Holger about to put pass him up as a lap car but uh, our leader Michael Coming down the front stretch right now. He's really not that far behind these guys. Man. He knows how to get around this place, I'm telling you. He's just totally dominating here today. As we can see him, our leader right there, and Holger actually just now coming down the front stretch. So he is running 24.1 seconds behind him. Kyle Strychars in third. Marcus in fourth. Ooh, got a mountain in the way. The uh, blimp's pretty close to that mountain. Michael Hillard in fifth. Darren Kuhn sixth. Dog seventh. 
Layla Wilson, eight. Lewis Van, ninth. Francisco, tenth. And Ben Walton in the Max B TV car, eleventh. Second in his class, the dog. Get on Kyle Strychard for just a little bit. Holger right behind him. Holger in second and Strychard's in third. Up, up, up on the back of Layla and they both get around Layla with ease as they go through the S's here and onto the back stretch. Strychard's just driving the wheels off of that thing right now. He comes down to front stretch. He's got quite the lead over uh, Holger there. Holger's actually a whole lap ahead of him, but still doing a good job. Oh, what happened? Strychard overdrives the turn. What happened there? He's still okay. He's still in third, but wow, he really overdrove that a ton. He's going to have to come back up onto the track gently here. Okay, Marcus back and forth. Marcus already starting to reel up Kyle now. Hillard in fifth in the BMW, and he's got Darren Kuhn right on his tail. We got to do something about this sound, man. It's driving me nuts. I can't. I can't hardly stand it.
be better. Well, let's try the blimp cam here. Blimp cam seems to be okay. Alright, I think that's about as good as we're going to get for now, folks. Ah, uh, hopefully that's better sounding. <laughs> Sounds a little better to me, anyhow. I can actually hear the car. Might be a little bit loud when I get to the, the Gen 6s, but it's have to deal with it. Too loud for you. Turn your volume down a little bit, I guess. Okay, let's get back up to the front here. As Holger now is 44 seconds behind the leader. And if I'm not mistaken, the leader is right behind him. And if he puts Holger down a lap, that's going to be the whole field down one lap, folks. And we are a third of the way through the race already. The whole field is a lap down to the leader. Holder not far behind our leader, but he is a whole lap behind him. And our leader coming up on a lot of lap traffic right now, trying to negotiate around them. stuck negotiating around him and Marcus does get by Kyle's right charge Kyle goes back to the fourth place in that uh, in the HPD so fourth in his class Michael Hiller still top of his class in the BMW with Darren Kuhn right on his tail those two having a little mini race of their own folks dog back here seventh overall in the Cadillacs, and he's got the Max BTV car there, but the Max BTV car is about four laps behind him. Yeah, about four laps behind him. Dog gets out of the way and lets Ben Walton go by. And now he is three laps behind Dog. Layla Wilson, uh, eight out here uh, in the Gen 6. Eighth overall, top of her class. Francisco gets by Lewis Van. And Lewis Van back quite a little ways here. Must have slipped up in a turn or something. Looks like he's got a little damage on that car. way off of the track almost into the fence man that 
that could have been bad. Good save, Francis. Let's go. Strychars on pit road. Uh, let's see, he's been on pit road several times today too. Our first, uh, first and second, Michael uh, Redmusen has not been on pit road yet, and neither has Holger. Holger in second. Marcus in third. Dreichard in fourth on pit road. Michael Hillard in fifth. In BMW followed by Darren Kuhn. Dog back here in top of his class in the Cadillac. Layla Wilson in eighth top of her class in the Gen 6. Francisco top of his class in the Holden B8 running ninth. Lewis Van second in his class in the Gen 6, running 10. And Ben Walton in the Max B TV Cadillac out here in 11th spot. Running about 18 laps down to the leader right now. Rasmussen out front, driving the Grip TV car, <laughs> Grip TV.
St. Michael on pit road for the first time today. Holger liking that because uh, giving him a chance to get caught up a little bit here. But he still has not been on pit road either. Michael back off of pit road. I had to get me a piece of candy. Oh, tastes good. Orange sliced gumdrops. Well, that does put uh, Holger back on the lead lap. 25 seconds behind Michael. But again, he still has not been on pit road. Marcus now in third. I'm not sure what happened to Kyle Streichardt. He is still sitting on pit road. Must have got called away or something. Michael Hillard in second. Or, I'm sorry, fourth. Top of his class and not far behind him. Darren Kuhn, second in his class in the BMW today. Dog in sixth now, top of his class in the Cadillac. Layla Wilson in the Gen 6, top of her class. And Francisco right behind her. Those two have been pretty much about evenly matched the whole race. Man. Lewis Van way back behind them too. And ben Walton in the Max B TV Cadillac in 11. And if Kyle's not careful, he's going to be on pit road just long enough that uh, the Max B TV car is going to get by him. Right up behind him does take over that that uh, completes that pass on him and now the leader looking to pass up Marcus and does Marcus gets off the track drives off the track and takes an incident point for that man I don't think I would have done that Well, we're not too awful far from halfway here, folks. About uh, 13, 14 laps from the halfway mark. So not bad. These guys have been at it uh, for, well, uh, about an hour and five minutes. They had one caution there earlier. The drivers asked if uh, a dog could uh, throw a caution, and he did. So it looks like Kyle Streichardt's out of the race. whatever reason unfortunately for him man he after winning last week I thought he was really gonna be uh, pumped up for this but real life situations dictate what goes on in the uh, world Lewis Van right here in the ninth place overall second class to Layla Wilson in the Gen set. Layla up here still trying to fend off Francisco. Francisco has been after her. Holy moly. And they've got the leaders coming up behind them. The leader goes on by Layla. Layla seems to be doing a lot better now. Uh, her and Lewis were racing it pretty hard, and I think maybe that might have been really affecting just how, how good they were getting in and out of the turns, and now that they're kind of away from, away from each other, 
I think Layla really settled into a groove right now, and she's doing quite well because the Gen 6 at the Lime Rock here is definitely a handful. She's doing an extremely good, good job of it. Francisco here in the Holden V8. Does he just hang on every move that Layla makes? Doesn't really have the horsepower to get by her, but he can hang with her. He's a little faster on the straightaways, but uh, he does reel her in in the turns a little. Layla getting uh, that drifting thing down pretty good, I think. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she can drift that V8. Let's ride along with her for a minute here. Uh, Layla Wilson. is out of fuel Marcus no engine sounds must be it's sputtering hey, he is out of fuel wow out of fuel Now if he can get that thing refired again. Alright, it's running. Alright, good save. Dog just coming off a of pit road himself. And that was the first time he'd been on pit road running back here in the sixth place leading the Cadillac class sixth place overall along with Darren Kuhn as he gets by uh, Michael Hillard. Not exactly sure what happened to Hillard. He's a little ways behind Darren Kuhn now. And that's uh, usually, that was the other way around. Hillard was ahead of Darren Kuhn. But I'll tell you what, Darren Kuhn's a good racer. If he found a way to get by him, then he did so. So, hey, Breen, how you doing? Fuzzy Falcon, and a couple others that don't want to log in. not racing again this week. All right, and 
Kayla Wilson now rolls into second. She gets by Dog. And Francisco gets by Dog, too. And Dog back on pit road. Uh-oh. I see some damage on that car. I see a little bit of left front damage. Dog, what happened? Dog, are you there? Well, he must have had to step away, folks, so... Looks like a... Yeah, I was trying to fix one of my windows because it's blinding me, but... Oh, okay. Uh, do I see damage on the left front corner of that car? On mine, yeah. Okay, what'd you get into? A wall. Okay, I didn't see that. It was very lightly, but I yeah. went in mostly because I can't see right now because I have a fucking window glaring the sun right at me. We have another caution on the track. Looks like, uh, yeah, thrown by dog. So we'll get back up here to our leader. Second caution of the day, and we are at halfway here, folks. Well, some more good news for the guys. They'll try to get uh, some of these laps back or. Uh, Get caught up anyhow. Won't be spread out for around the track. At least for a couple laps. The leader waiting to get caught up to the pace car. Another brand new league that we, be, we will be broadcasting for tonight. Uh, we will be going live on Twitch right here at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight for uh, Wings and Fenders. Uh, not a brand new league, but a brand new broadcast for Max B TV here. Uh, just uh, closed the deal today, as a matter of fact, this morning finish the deal and uh, we are excited to get on board with Wings and Fenders. Leader coming on pit road now. Leaders away. Somebody else coming on. Looks like uh, Layla maybe coming on pit road. I think Layla Wilson is on. No. Uh, a few other ones. It's got to be Layla. Uh, it was. Take that back. All right, let's get back up here to our leader. Holger still sitting on pit road. is going to be put down a lap again. Lights are off on the pace car. We're ready to go green. Darren Kuhn on pit road.
or he may be taking a break. Sometimes these drivers do that. Uh, they'll pull off and just take a break or something, but uh, no, he, now he's coming back off a of pit road and he's going to be back behind these guys quite a ways, but he'll still be uh, top of his class. He's a whole lap ahead of Michael Hillard now. Waiting for them to come around here and give the green flag to get this back underway here, folks, at Lime Rock. Thanks for watching here today, folks. Uh, Dogs of endurance running here today at Lime Rock. Green, green, green. Michael already getting out to a commanding lead. He was already a couple laps ahead, but Holger in second. Marcus in third. Derek Kuhn, top of his class in fourth in the BMW. Michael Hiller, second in his class in BMW running fifth. Layla in sixth. Trying to hang on to these guys up in the front here, and I'll tell you what, Layla's doing a bang up job here. Francisco in seventh. Only one in his class in the Holden V8 today, running in seventh overall. And uh, Lewis Van back here in eighth place. Uh, he will be the one that I'll be broadcasting for tonight, folks. So make sure you tune in here tonight at Twi on Twitch about 6.30 Eastern. We'll be live here for the uh, Wings and Fenders at Phoenix with the Indy cars. That ought to be fun. Short little sprint race that uh, he puts up each and every week. All right, dog back to ninth overall, and uh, still top of his class, and he's only about two laps ahead now of. Uh, Ben Walton in the Max B TV Cadillac. Let's get up here and follow Dog around a couple of laps and see what happens here. Dog is a very good road racer, I'll tell you. He has buku the patience, I'm telling you. And that's what it takes to be a road racer, lots of patience. want to get by him, just let him know. He'll pull over, gladly pull over and let you go by him. Not a problem. The leader coming up behind him now. And you see, he just pulls over, lets the leader go by. That's, that's what I'm talking about, patience. There's no sense in trying to hold up the leader when he is way faster than you are. Now we'll go back and we'll ride along with Ben Walton in the Max Speed TV car. Running 10th overall, second in his class, a couple of laps behind Dog.
chat's awful quiet today. What's up with everybody? What's everybody doing today besides watching the race here? We got some beautiful sunshine here today in Tennessee, but it's a little cool. It's a, a pretty good north wind blowing, so. Francisco in uh, the seventh place overall. Got that Holden V8 hooked up really well. Francis, Francisco doing really good here. All right, 83 laps to go here, folks. They got about an hour to do it before, uh, I believe, before the server, sh either the server shuts down or what. I, I don't know how that works. It's, it's either 183 laps or two and a half hours, and I think it's whichever comes first. So they've got about an hour and five minutes to complete the race. And I don't see it being a problem. They've been pretty good here. We've got a couple of cautions. We've slowed it up just a little, but they'll make it up here. Uh, if we get up here to our leader, uh, let's uh, check and see what kind of times he's turning. 40, 45 second laps. Let's just say 45 second laps or less than a minute to do a lap in 83, so it'll be 83 minutes, uh, probably about 70 minutes maybe. So that's just about right on the money. 65 to 70 minutes. Pretty close. I can figure that out exactly here. about 62 minutes. Well, we're right on the money right here. About 62 minutes to complete this race if it stays green. I mean, I, I won't, won't be able to have time to talk to the drivers on the track. We usually talk to them in team speak anyhow. See you there, Breen. By the way, how come you're not in here racing? Don't tell me you don't have the track, because everybody's got Lime Rock. Flight Sim, huh? Light Sim X. I got that. But, you know, I, I never really tried it on my new computer here, but uh, it didn't work good on my other one for some reason. I don't know. It was really choppy and laggy. and I don't know what to do with that. The good thing about it is uh, if I put it on my new one, man, I could run max graphics. It would be freaking awesome. So you have to look, find that. I've got it over here on the shelf somewhere. Find that and put it on this computer. Try it out. I got a I got a beautiful flight stick. Fuzzy Falcon. Well, uh, which one are you there, Fuzzy Falcon? right fuzzy falcon oh okay sean okay ah sorry to hear that bro man you were doing so good too all right holger in second let's run back through boy lots of traffic right now holy moly holger drives by third place marcus right there now marcus working to get by layla 
Ada looked like she backed off to try to let him go, and then he decided not to go, so... Mm, all right. Leader right behind Layla now. And he should be able to take her right here. He does. You have to pick and choose the places to pass. Uh, slower traffic. That's the thing. You've got to find like a straightaway or a place that you're going to be good and clear to get by. Marcus does clear Layla that time and get by her. So good job. Oh, yeah, okay, you know who to blame. Okay, well, sorry about that, Sean. Doggone. Uh, are you still in the server? Would you mind, would you want to join me in the booth? If you're still in the race server? You're not even in TeamSpeak. Alrighty then. I guess you won't be joining me in the booth then, okay. <laughs> 